Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. You only have one body, folks. Remember that. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down three. NASDAQ is up 12. S&P is up 12 and a half. Gold contract up $15.90, trading at 1872 an ounce. We had silver up 25 cents. $23.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $93.08 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up one tick, 125.25. The 30-year flat at 150.24 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 287 ticks, trading 95.702. Euro 113. Yen at 115 and a half. And the British pound at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. And what do you have? Well, the bottom line is you have a higher price. We're going to have another contraction of volume. It's Wednesday. So bottom line is that, you know, this should be a positive week. Um, you know, it's creeping up. It's clawing back. It's doing everything that a market does on a counter trend bounce. That's the reality. So yesterday what we did is this. You know, we if we go back to last week, it came down at 153 million. That was on Friday, right? Yesterday, we go up on 88. We're at 59 right now, so we might do 80, you know, but the bottom line is that when you see these, if they're a counter trend bounce, folks, as we go higher, the volume is going to keep contracting. And more than likely, you know, the S&P looks to me like it's going to try to get to the top of this range, which is the 458. Inside the, uh, well, here, let's go into the futures first and see what the futures looking like right now, because when the Fed minutes come out, the bottom line is that the market, like the Fed minutes, um, you know, went higher. Uh, that being said, let's take a look at this baby intraday. Okay, so we just, we're going to try to take this swing out. Oh, this would be pretty cool. Let me see this here then. Okay. We go yesterday and the day before. Oh, this could get interesting. Okay, here, let's do this. Let's just see if we can get an ABC going. So, yeah, you can get an ABC. So, it did, when you look at this intraday for a couple days, we had done just almost the 0.618 retracement, but that means that you can do an ABC if we can get over uh, 4476 and we're right at it. It's going to have the volume. So here, let's do these numbers. Let's figure this out. So 4467, that's 67, 70, that's 87. 87 on top of... Uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty funny. I, I know that Tigers and Tigers is looking for the Den 4500. That's, that's what this is saying. This is, this has to, this is already, let me see this. I think it has the volume. It does. It's, it's saying 4500 is there in the S&P. NQs, let's go to the NQs. Okay, I suspect we did the same thing here. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see. This one probably retraced too much, though. Whoops, close that. I'm doing the NQs right now, folks. That's what we're going to do, so. Uh, yeah, the NQs ret retraced too much. So the, the NQs are not going to be an ABC structure up. Um, the S&Ps very well could be right now. That, that's how that baby's shaking out. Gold, we go take a look at the gold contract out here. What we have with gold is that we hit a low today of 1851, a rejected lower price. We are at 1871 right now. And okay, so that's good. We have volume at highs right now. Uh, so that, that high is the volume, which is really cool. Uh, we do have lighter volume here, but what we also have is that the last two days it was punching into this high with volume. Now, I'm gonna go over if you have my book, you know. 100% move of a move. Most times, this is what ends up happening, folks, okay? And the 100% move of the move would be, we started out at 1882. That was November 16th. We go all the way down to 
1755. What I've found is that once, when you just make it back up there the first time, most times you are not going to blow by right that, that number. Most times what you're going to do, you're going to back down a little. Uh, I'm not saying going to the other end of the consolidation. You, you'll back down because I like how the volume, you're pushing into that with volume. So most times you'll back down a bit. You'll build more cars. Today's a tough one to really wrap your head around because it is an inside day. If, the, if this had got below the low of yesterday, then I would be able to say that it rejected lower price. It really hasn't done anything at this point. That, that's the real point. So we'll see where that wants to go. I want to look at a couple of the gold equities because that'll tell us a lot more. And if we go to uh, the GDX, the GDX is on an ABC structure up. You got a little volume dying on the vine right now, but that's a confirmed ABC structure up. Let me go to an eco, an eco eagle, and yeah, see some of these. These are these are not getting the volume. They're not getting the volume. But Anglo Ashante is not getting the volume either. Um, higher, it's higher by thirty-two cents, but it's quite a contraction. You can see that last. Uh, no, Monday we ended up we did four million shares, and we're doing. 2.3, you're coming into the high with 4.7. This is going to build more cars. That's, that's how this seems to be working. Now, notes and bonds, whole different number, folks, okay? Um, this note and bond market is building cars to get to lower price. You know, we came down the first leg. You're, you're trying to get higher today. You're up two ticks with 1.5 million contracts, and yet it made a low with 3.4, I think. Let me see what it was. 3.1. So this sideways move five days now, that's building cause for the next leg, leg down. That's how that is shaken out. Uh, what is interesting, there's no doubt, is that when you go into those Fed meetings, mi minutes, um, you know, they're saying that, hey, listen, um, if this inflation don't stop, they're going to accelerate all of this. But the market's not believing it, man. <laughs> that's the real bottom line. That, that's how this is set up right now. The market's just not believing it. Dow Industrials right now down 34, NASDAQ is up 2, S&P is up 8.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.